This is Teresa Bruni, Intuitive Healer and Health and Wellness Coach. And today, I would like to talk to you about choosing the right doctor to treat your chronic fatigue syndrome. The information provided here will be helpful if you have a condition other than chronic fatigue syndrome and you have concerns about finding the right doctor. All too often, we blindly put our trust in the medical community. Many of us assume that if a doctor appears to have a successful practice, he or she is probably a good doctor. Sadly, this is not necessarily true. It's really important to do your homework to find a doctor that is best suited to both your medical needs and your personality. If you already have a doctor that you trust, then you're lucky. When I was on my journey trying to find a doctor to treat me, I made calls and I asked if the doctor treated chronic fatigue syndrome. I finally found one that said yes. I was assured that he did. But on the day of my appointment, the doctor said to me, anyone who has read the latest information knows that chronic fatigue syndrome doesn't exist. I was overwhelmed with disappointment and frustration. How could they do this to me? I did my homework. I asked prior to my appointment and clearly they had lied to me. And on top of everything else, they expected me to pay for the appointment. So there are several ways that you can go about finding the right doctor. First, if you happen to belong to a support group, you can ask for referrals from people in your group. Next, you can ask friends, family, and coworkers for referrals to doctors they know, like, and trust. Another idea, and this one is one of my favorites, is to ask healthcare providers that you already work with. This would include your dentist, eye doctor, chiropractor, nutritionist, and other alternative therapists. They can often make good recommendations to qualified physicians. Once you've made a decision and you have scheduled your appointment, remember that you have the right to interview the doctor. It's reasonable for you to ask important questions, such as how long have they been practicing, how many patients have they treated with your condition, and what types of successes have they had with these patients. It's also important to remember that doctors are human too. While all have graduated from medical school and have passed the state boards, they may not have been at the top of their class. It's also a really good idea to check state records to find out if the doctor you have chosen has been sued for malpractice. But keep in mind that some doctors who have been sued will move from one state to another. This video is not intended to scare you, but it is intended to open your eyes so that you can protect yourself. In closing, the number one most important thing you can do when choosing your doctor is to follow your intuition. And even after you've made your decision, make sure that you never give away your power. The bottom line is, it's your health and your body. When your doctor makes a diagnosis and treatment recommendations, be sure to ask the appropriate questions. Make sure you are well informed. And if you're uncertain, get a second opinion, even a third opinion and be sure to do your research. It's never wise to put your power in someone else's hands. And if at any moment you have concerns about the doctor or the prescribed treatment, it's time to do more research to ensure you are receiving the best medical care possible. If you found this information helpful and you would like more information on how to empower your healing process, click the subscribe button below. I'll be posting new information regularly. And in the meantime, be well.